We're speaking today with Joe Young, Senior Vice President of Innovation at G4S. We want to discuss how companies can manage the threats of COVID-19. Obviously, businesses today are looking for ways they can reopen while keeping their employees and customers safe. And G4S has developed a program that can help. Welcome, Joe. How are you? I'm great, Larry. Thanks for having me. How are you? Great. Uh, first, can you tell us a little bit about the G4S Return to Work program and why the company has developed this initiative? Yeah, absolutely. So the G4S Return to Work Assurance Program is a comprehensive set of eight different solutions. Uh, the solutions are all underpinned by people, process, and technology and powered by data and analytics. So the eight categories in which we built these solutions are around temperature solutions, uh, PPE detection, physical distancing, occupancy and throughput, workspace controls, contact tracing, remote working, and business resilience. Now, the, the second part of the question that you asked about is why did G4S build this? So one of, the, one, one of the attributes around being a trusted advisor in the physical security space means that we have to really track what's going on. We saw a ton of ambiguity around governing agencies making recommendations or providing guidelines around cost, what customers should do when they reopen. And when I say customers, G4S was a customer as well. G4S took this as an opportunity as the trust advisor in this space to curate the right products and services to really help them guide, to help guide them along the journey. Great. Um, we've seen several security manufacturers take a variety of approaches to these issues. How is the G4S return to work program different than what we've seen other companies offer? Uh, yeah, we, we've seen a bunch of great ones out there and, and um, kudos to a lot of the competition. We love when competition comes out with some great stuff because it obviously challenges us to, to elevate a bit. As a global uh, technology enabled service provider, we are able to look at things through multiple lenses. But the magic really happens when we're able to bring all that together to build an incredible portfolio of comprehensive end-to-end -end solutions. Now, what do I mean by that? G4S wholly owns and operates the following business units. So we have a corporate risk services team that does boots on the ground, risk assessments, extraction, executive protection, intelligence services, crisis management. Uh, we have a security personnel division with 500,000 plus strong men and women that are protecting our customers. We have a systems integration business that does design, build, implementation, service, and uh, shared service or uh, shared services or out outsource services for our customers. And then we happen to wholly own and operate a hardware software company by the name of AMAG. Now, when you look through each one of these is in, a, in a single lens, they're all great standalone offerings. But it's when you bring them together into this integrated offering that it truly sets us apart. As I mentioned before, it's all underpinned by that people, the process, the technology, and powered by data and analytics. Well, well tell me about that. Why, why is it so important to have elements of people, process, and technology? Yeah. At, at the core of G4S sits our risk-based approach. And ultimately this methodology enables us to help customers understand what do they need to protect? What are they protecting it from? And then how do they most effectively protect it? And when you look at the answer inside of how do I most effectively protect it? The answer is not just one. It's not, it's not just technology. It's not just people. It's a combination of people and technology all underpinned by a process. Great. Well, how, how is the uh, G4S Return to Work program helping organizations? Yeah. So as customers are reopening, really our, our out-of-the-box solutions are, help, are, are meant to help the customers with those underlying jobs to be done. They have specific jobs to be done that are maybe they're jobs that came from CDC, from OSHA, from the IEC, from ISO, from the World Health Organization. Our packages are, are put together neatly to help speed up implementation, no matter where the customer is at on their journey. So ultimately providing safety and security, not only to their employees and their visitors, but also assisting their organization in achieving compliance. Well, sooner or later, hopefully, uh, the impact of the pandemic will diminish. And if and when that happens, uh, how might your program continue to help businesses uh, deal with the quote unquote new normal? Quote unquote, yeah, the, the new normal is one of my one of my favorite conversations right now. So I'd actually I'd break the new normal into into two phases. So one being current trends and two being the new normal. So G4S has a global academy network, which is composed of security specialists from around the world. And recently the team hosted a mind mapping session to really capture those trends of what's going on. And then we take those trends and we provide them as insights back to our customers. Now that's that's phase one around capturing really the trends. So it's helping customers understand what's going on now. 
Now, when we look at phase two, the new normal, I believe the answer will be clarified using a combination of time and innovation approaches. Time being over the next six, 12, 18, maybe even 24 months and beyond. And the innovation approaches is leveraging things like design thinking workshops, jobs to be done, journey mapping, ethnographic studies. And it's then that we're able to compare journey maps from pre-pandemic to post-pandemic to understood what is really stuck. Great. It's very interesting. Uh, thanks for joining us today and uh, for sharing your insights. Uh, stay safe, Joe, and uh, maybe we'll speak again soon in real life. You as well. Thanks, Larry. All right. Thanks. Thanks.